What's going on guys? Kingpin Light here and we got Banthan featuring Laura Mam Dream live at Asian Music Showcase 2021. You guys have suggested this as one of the uh sets that I should react to because I've done Vonda's set or at least I, I I think they have multiple sets, so I think I reacted to all of Vonda's and I think I reacted to probably not all, but I did react to Hell with Sophia Cow and Vonda showed up. And you guys kept mentioning this one, specifically this one. And you guys have been mentioning this one since I reacted to the original uh, uh, Vonda set that he did at the showcase, like, right after it came out. So, yeah, it's been a long, long time, but I'm finally getting to it. And, you know, funny enough, I, I don't think I've... I know who Vanthan is, and I've obviously heard his work. I don't think I've ever reacted to Laura Mam. Laura Mam any of her music or even her featuring uh even though i know a lot about her from you guys or from watching uh, other videos um that vonda did like uh oh excuse me i'm a couple beers in uh interviews that she that vonda did and he mentions her where basically she's the uh barame production founder i guess or i guess the ceo of it and which is curious because you don't normally think CEOs are also uh, musical artists. So I'm curious what she even does. I don't even know if she's a rapper, a singer, or a, uh, a musician, like plays instruments. So uh, I'm going into this kind of blank outside of knowing who she is and what she represents in the in the group. So let's jump right in. See, they say it there. Hold on. But, so this is Yule Sop, and this is Yule Song. I know from my very, very small knowledge of Japanese, because I'm a nerd, so of course I went through a phase where I thought I could just pick up Japanese to learn, uh, to, to be able to play games and read manga. And um, so I am aware that Japanese have a couple of different alphabets. They have what they call... Um, well, now I'm forgetting, like katana or something, which they use foreign vowels and foreign sounds to say, like, proper nouns, usually of different words from other languages, usually uh, Ameri uh, American, English. Um, but they also have what's called kanji, and those are the long form, they're super detailed characters. And each one, there's like thousands and thousands of them, and each one is a particular set of words or sounds and they can mean different things and it just from what i can tell it gets really complicated so this kamai script i don't know what the letters are called specifically but the kamai script looks very similar and i'm sure it works off the same kanji format that um, things like even china uses and, and other asian countries use and if that's the case i will not ever be able to see that and read it without a lot of effort uh, but actually it's looking like it's a set of characters as opposed to a set of kanji and kanji are characters but there's like thousands of those where this feels like an alphabet um, because these first two characters here are the same in both words and they're the same down here as yule so i'm assuming these first two characters are always read as yule and these second characters here would be Sop, and these two would be Song. Let me know if I'm correct in that. I'm just trying to pick stuff up just by looking at it. I am, uh, I am no expert by any means of languages, so. The Kamai flute is called the Chloe. Cool. I don't think I even know what Laura Mam looks like. Is that her in the back with the, or is that just an uh, a random musician with the shiny suit? I mean, I will figure it out as the video goes on, but I wanted to say my thoughts as they happen. So I don't even, I actually didn't even get a good look. Let me see. Probably not, right?
I was playing the Kim. So the Cloy is the flute. And the Kim is this xylophone style instrument. I mean, they didn't even try to call it anything. The last one they said the Kamai flute is called the Cloy. This one they just said, hey man, it's its own instrument. There is nothing else like it. So uh, I'm assuming it's a little bit like the xylophone. But it's like the xylophone with strings, it looks like. That is impressive. Mm. So that's her. I was right. Okay, cool. So she plays instruments. She's a musician and she's a musical artist, a singer. Cool. Good to know. That was a really, really uh, nice voice, actually. I like that. That little starting flow she did. Hold on. I will stop pausing because I just realized I'm not even a minute in. It's almost seven and a half minutes, so I won't pause as much, but um, I don't know. I, I get a lot of random thoughts while I watch these things, so if I pause too much, you guys let me know, and in the future, I'll try and pause less. <laughs> yeah, it's a real, real trampoline beat flow. I just said I wasn't going to pause as much, but I had to point that out. It, that's don't. Mm, 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 mm. I like that. She's kind of killing that. She's got such a unique voice. I'm really liking her singing, actually. And I like it in a different way than I like Sophia Cow. Sophia Cow has that very dark R&B sound that I like. And her voice fits that aesthetic very, very well. She's got a very unique, almost like a controlled... I, I always say this word, and it just in English, it usually means something not too great, so... That's why I try not to use it, but the best way to describe it is, is almost a nasally voice where it's like a crunched um, air airflow coming out while she sings. You know what I mean? It's almost like coming out with a with a tightened uh, airflow and it sounds really, really good, though. And then, of course, I like that almost the rhythm of threes is what I would call it. That that little flow that she had while she was singing. I like that. And she sings like water, where it flows kind of naturally when she's not using that rhythm. Mm. Mm. Oh, so that's the Kamai xylophone, the Ronit Ek. Roniet Ek. I don't know, I'm trying my best. Yeah, that sounds like a xylophone. Ooh. He went off right there. Ooh. Ooh. I was really feeling that little xylophone riff that he did. That was actually dope as hell. I would love to see that sampled into a, a trap beat. That was actually dope.
My favorite instrument that he uses might be this xylophone. He he's making some crazy beats on that. Now he's playing the Sam 4, the Kamai drum. I like the fact that she's a singer and he's a musician, but they're showcasing him a lot as well. I feel like musicians are sometimes put on the on the back burner for a lot of people where they're not as interested. Like they might like beats, they might like instruments that are being played, but it's always the front band, you know, in bands. It's always the singer that gets all the girls. That sort of vibe where it it's always like the musicians that are putting in so much work to make this amazing sound aren't showcased as much so it's really cool that they they put this space in between and i'm assuming she's going to come back and sing a little more so they put this space between her singing to just let him shine for a little bit i think that's cool <laughs> mm. i don't i'm actually at a loss for words to describe how she sings all I can say is I actually really, really, really enjoy it. And I don't know what specifically. And you guys know me. I usually talk for ages. Like I'm able to talk about any subject for as long as I need to. So it, it's a little weird not to have the right way to describe it to you guys. But something about it is just hitting right. I really like that singing. <laughs> This feels happy. Oh man, this just makes me happy for some reason. There's been a few songs in my life, and I mean few. Like, I could probably count them with two hands like few songs and one of the songs is i'll do a revisiting video on it i forget what it's called now but I, I will explain in the revisiting video that this is a song that i was talking about it's an american song but there's one song that i just listened to and it just makes me happy and it's not the words it's not the vibe really it's just something about the music it's just so perfectly unique that it that it just makes me happy anytime I listen to it. So that's like my pick me up song. There's only a handful of songs that give me that random feeling in a way that I can't describe. There's a lot of songs I can listen to and feel happy from the beat, from the words, from from memories about the song, that sort of thing. Don't get me wrong, there's tons of music like that. But there's only a handful of them that give me that feeling without me being able to explain why. And honestly, this is this might be in there. Like, I don't know what it is. Mm. Mm. I like that line too. It said, uh, thrive with your knowledge or something with your knowledge. That's what your future, that's what your destiny is based off or your fate, something like that. But basically she's saying the amount of knowledge that you have is what dictates your future. It's the, the path that you take and the, the decisions that you make as you move forward in life. And that, that's very true. Remo Mondo de Jembe. I like the way he's performing too. not look like the happiest dude ever when he's playing like he legitimately just always looks so excited and happy Mm. 
I gotta hear this section one more time, man. The way she's inflecting her voice, again, so uniquely. There, uh, this is just gonna be a, a very hard to describe video. I feel like this just, I will, I will, uh, rumigate a little bit. I don't know if that's the right word. I will let it, uh. I will give it time and I'll be able to come back probably on the next one, explain what I mean a little clearer. But right now it's just, it's hard to describe in words. It's just, I like th the specific uniqueness that she has. You know, there's a lot of people that are unique and I do usually like them as well, but there's something sp about her specific uniqueness. Never move, if your mind's polluted, you won't find solutions. Seek truth and choose and not cruelty and human. This ain't revolution. This is ever. Got a little bit of that funk style in there too, huh? That's a self-made water drum. My man made his own instrument for this. Oh, that goes in. My man's like an engineer as well as a musician. Imagine how crazy that is. He just made his own, like, just came on this super official set with all of these fancy instruments and everything. He's like, give me a water bucket and, and uh, whatever you would call that, like a pot. It's like, I got it, bro. I'm making my own instrument. And then he plays the, the hell out of it. Like, he's playing the hell out of this. And the way he has to like open the sides to let out a different sound than if he was just hitting it, that's cool. I was letting him play out his drum solo. I didn't want to interrupt it, but that's, he really did shine on, they just gave him the space to shine and he took it and he definitely shined on this playing all of those instruments and then ending it with a solo on his own created instrument. Like this dude is legitimately like a, a, a rhythm genius. I would say and he's able to identify the patterns and, and, and rhythms of each instrument. And now I can only play the trumpet. And I played that for a number of years. So I don't know the experience of switching to a different genre of, of instrument. Because there's wind instruments, there's there's uh, bronze, you know, all these different styles. And so I don't know what it's like to switch over to a new one. But it, I would feel like it would take some time. Like, sure, you know the foundations, but it's like a different rhythm to the instrument. So yeah, that was definitely worth it. I probably shouldn't have taken as long as I did to react to it. But hey, it was worth it in the end. And my introduction to Laura Mam. Mm. Now I gotta listen to more of her. 
suggest in the comments the best song to react to her. Like just singles if she's got it with just her or at least the best featured song with her. Because that, that was really, really, really dope. And uh, the song is Dream. So maybe I need to react to the non-live version. But I really, really dug the live version. So I got to figure out a way to save the live version for myself. If they have that on like Apple Music or something. But anyway, guys, if you like that, like, subscribe, and comment. I will catch you guys in the next one.